All right, so this video here, we're going to uh, talk about finding the tangent line to a curve. All right, so it says find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at the indicated point. So we have our function f of x equals x over x minus 1, and we want to find the equation of the tangent line at the point 2, 2. Okay, so we're finding the equation of a line. So whenever you're finding the equation of a line, you need to know the slope of the line and you have to have a point on the line. Well, we have a point on the line, the, the point 2, 2. Now we just need to find the slope. Well, to find the slope, we can take the function, this f of x here, find the derivative and evaluate it at this point and that will give us the slope of the tangent line at this point 2 2 so I've got I've got f of x is equal to now to take the derivative of this remember we have to use the quotient rule so it's the derivative of the numerator which is 1 times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator derivative of x is 1, derivative of minus 1 is 0, times the numerator, x. And that's all over the denominator squared. I'm sorry, this is f prime of x. So f prime of x is equal to x minus 1 minus x over x minus 1 squared and so f prime of x is just equal to negative 1 over x minus 1 squared. <clears throat> so there's our derivative. All right. So now to find the slope, the slope m is just the derivative evaluated at this point. Well, you can see in our function we only have a variable of x. So we're going to plug in this 2 here. I know both of them is a 2, but we're plugging in the x coordinate. So f prime of 2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 minus 1 squared, and this is going to give us a slope of negative 1. Okay, so we have our slope is negative 1, and our point is 2, 2. So we're finding the equation of the line that has a slope of negative 1 and passes through the point 2, 2. So we can use the point slope form of the line. And remember the formula for that, that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so we just plug everything in. So we get y minus 2, we're plugging this 2 in, equals m, which is negative 1, times x minus x1. And here's our x1, the 2, okay? Just remember, this is x1 and this is y1. And then we just solve it. So we get y minus 2 equals negative x plus 2. And so y equals negative x plus 4. And there's our answer. Okay. Let's take a look at one more. <clears throat> All right, so here we're finding the equation of I mean, we're finding the tangent line to the curve x squared plus y squared equals 25 at the point negative 3, 4. All right. So here we have to use implicit differentiation. So do you remember how to do that? Well, uh, I have some videos on implicit differentiation. You can check those out. Okay. All right. So we have a point, and we need the slope. Okay, so we have to take the derivative of this and then evaluate the derivative at this point. So the derivative, that's going to be 2x plus, and then remember the 2y times what? dy dx, and that equals 0. And then we have to solve this for dy dx. Okay. Now, now, for, as far as this problem goes, I'm assuming that you know how to do the implicit differentiation. Okay. If you haven't gotten to that yet, you will. Okay. All right. So we get 2y dy 
dx equals negative 2x and so dy dx equals negative x over y. Alright, so the slope is equal to the derivative, okay, evaluated at the point negative 3, 4. Okay, so for the x, I'm pl plugging in negative 3, so that's negative 3 over, and then for the y, I'm plugging in 4, and so we get 3 fourths as our slope. Alright, so we have a slope of negative 3 fourths, and our point is negative 3, 4. Alright, so now we can use the point slope form of the line. We've got our slope and we've got our point. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we plug everything in. So that's y minus 4 equals negative. I'm sorry, it's not negative 3 fourths, it's a positive 3 fourths. Okay. So 3 fourths times x plus 3. Okay, so when I, uh, you see where the plus came from. When I plug in the negative, that's x minus a negative 3, which becomes positive. Okay. All right, and then we just solve for uh, y. So y minus 4 equals 3 fourths x plus 9 fourths. And so y equals 3 fourths x, and then I add the 4 to both sides, so that's going to give me what? 25 over 4. That would be when I add the 4, that'll get a common denominator of 4, so that becomes a 16. Okay, and there's my answer. All right, so just remember whenever you're finding the the equation of the tangent line it doesn't matter what uh, derivative rule you have to use whether it's the product rule the quotient rule or the power rule or the chain rule or use implicit differentiation the main thing that you have to understand is that you have to take the derivative of the function and then evaluate the function at that point and that gives you the slope of the line and then you can use the point slope form here to plug in your slope and your point that you're given to find the equation of the line. All right, so I hope this has helped. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of videos, um, well, one video on finding the equation of the normal line. Okay, and it's, it's pretty much just like this. It's just a little bit different when we find the slope. All right, so uh, if you like the videos, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.